Sykes then said, I should like to draw a line from the E of Acre to the last K in Kirkuk. Pico seems like this guy who has an axe to grind, who's largely quite pissed off. And Sykes seems to be this like affable character who doesn't fully really kind of care. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be uh, find the convenient solution. Like, let's just finish with this. I don't really care that much. Um, let's just get through this. I think that's right. I think Georges Pico went into the negotiation threatening all kinds of things and with a much clearer idea of what France wanted. Uh, the British were a bit nonplussed. They, the reason this all happened was because there'd been discussion of um, the Gallipoli campaign. So uh, when, when the war on the Western Front went wrong, the British started to think, well, maybe we can knock the Ottomans out of the, the war with an attack on Gallipoli and the Dardanelles, and, and then we can create a new front and so on. And that raised the question of what would happen to the Ottoman territories. And then, so by this was sort of mid to late 1915, the British realised they had a problem. And it was Sykes who came up with the answer. And Sykes had been a sort of an intrepid uh, tourist before the war in the Middle East. He travelled mm -hmm. very extensively. He did know the territory, but he didn't have um, a particularly deep understanding of it. He hadn't lived there. And he had the sort of what we would call the gift of the gab in the sense that he was yeah. able to sort of, you know, he wowed people. He went into the meeting uh, and said, look, I can solve your problem to the, the, the British ministers who were all thinking, what are we going to do about the French they're playing up again? Uh, and he said, look, leave it with me. And, and they said, well, what do you propose doing? And I think this gets us to the, the key quote, if you like, in the book, yeah. uh, because there are minutes from that meeting official minutes and we know there must have been a map like you've got up on the screen on the on the table in front of them all because Sykes then said I should like to draw a line from the E of Acre to the last K in Kirkuk and that is the line the, the sort of diagonal tick that, that that was done to separate a French zone from a from a British zone uh, and you can still see, you know, the, the vestiges of it are still there today in the border that the part of the border that Syria has with Jordan and with Western Iraq. 